Hey folks, it's Grimlet. We're back to Casual Truck. I am here today with Chuck, of all people. Awesome. Uh, Chuck, say hello. Hello. I feel casual. That's good, because this is a very casual game, and I am playing a very casual truck. And, oh god, oncoming traffic. How scary. So today's question is... Can machines ever be the subject of... Uh, how do I put this? Can machines ever be the patient of morality? And what I mean by that is, can people feel badly about punching a machine? Can guilt be applied to a machine ever? And go all sci-fi. Go, like, commander data on this. Is it possible? Okay, uh, two things right out the bat. Yeah. Um, humans are biochemical machines. Okay. So, technically, that's your answer. <laughs> um, yes, of course you can feel bad for hurting a machine. You can feel bad for hurting a person, um... I have personally felt bad about hurting inanimate objects. Well, did you feel bad because you hurt a tool? Or did you feel bad because... Ooh, planes. Sorry, I got distracted there. There are planes. There are fucking planes just sitting in the middle of the road. What the heck? <laughs> now, oh, uh, God. I completely distracted myself. I am so sorry. <laughs> you we're, we're not in any hurry here. You take your time, deal with your uh, airplane situation on the highway, and uh, we'll come back to it when we can. <laughs> you know, we're yeah. all in this together. Yeah, sure, yep. Yeah. Everybody's pulling for you. We're all in this together. Um, um, so, to answer your question, though, uh, the, I felt bad for hurting things for multiple reasons. Um, and I'm not just talking about, well, shoot, I broke that expensive thing and now I'm out a lot of money. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, um, breaking something that has a lot of sentimental value to you, for example. Be Think about it. When we hurt a person, um, sometimes we assign sentimental values to humans as well. So, when you hurt someone, you might not necessarily be thinking, I'm really sorry that I hurt that person because it hurt them. Sometimes, you're sorry you hurt a person because, oh... I'm really emotionally attached to that person, and I don't want them to feel bad. Well, I mean, it brings to mind the whole essence of, of ethics, then, and what ethics are even for at that point. Because, um, oh, okay, you, you've heard the whole deal, um, killing people gets easier every time you do it? Uh, yes. Okay, and I, I don't know if that's true personally, but that seems to be the, uh, the feeling on the subject. Well, I, I've only killed one person. Hmm. So, you know, and, until I've killed two people, then I can't tell you whether I feel better about the second one than the first. So it, it's just, it's not fair for me to say. Is he joking? Is he not? You be the judge. <laughs> he had it coming. He knows what he did. <laughs> me, I just have to set fire to hobos in order to get an erection. Did I say that out loud? I'll just edit it out. <laughs> It's fine. I missed you, and I missed this. This is fun. <laughs> uh, you know, since you're on board, a lot of people are going to be leaving comments asking when you're going to help me finish X Beyond the Frontier, and frankly, I don't want to play it anymore. Yeah, that's, that's it, people. <laughs> In case you're wondering, the only reason we never finished that is because Mike said, I'm done playing this. I... Um, it I don't know why it's still on my hard drive. I should get rid of it. I really don't like the way they did the end game. I think the end boss is stupid. The end boss is patiently Mike, wading through politics and uh, grind. Mike, you, you know I love you, but you've always had a little bit of an issue with finishing things you start. That's not true. And I'm the same way, so it's, it's fine. But... <laughs> Um, you enjoyed it, I enjoyed it, it's in the past, so it's not a problem. I have, oddly enough, been playing, um, you know, I'm always looking for a good one-handed game. Right. I only have the use of one arm. Right. Um, 
I discovered uh, FTL. FTL's very good. FTL is incredibly good. Um, it is a struggle to do so, but you can play the game entirely with the mouse. You don't have to use hotkeys. That um, sounds like it would be a little bit difficult because of the nature of the game. It is so frantic in the middle of battle. Oh, yeah. It, it is micromanagement the game. Um, constantly <laughs> figuring out where to put your crew and, and inventory and missile stockpile and all that. Um, I pause a lot. So does sit everybody back else. And think about things, and you know, as long as I've I've got time to think, I usually do pretty well. So of do course, you have you mapped like a pause button to your mouse? Uh, it's the middle click. Yeah. Yes, you have. All right. Of course, I have a nine-button mouse, so that helps. <laughs> I got, I got, I think maybe a five-button mouse, and that's too much for me. Um, you know, I bought it. Um, uh, in South Carolina, there's a Tiger Direct wholesale store, like a physical location, where they sell all the inventory from TigerDirect.com, and they do the distributing there, but they also have a storefront. And this thing was like $140 marked down to 35 so I had to buy it. Nice. Uh, Good lord, nice. That's... It even changes color. It has a little switch on the side that changes the color. I think so. that's more than 75% off. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy yeah. deals to be found at TigerDirect.com that you can enjoy today. How much are they paying me? <laughs> TigerDirect.com. We're not paying you. <laughs> that's a great slogan. <laughs> MatchEvil.com. I'm not paying for this. Well, it's like um, my wife works for Michelin Tire, yeah. and they say all the time, it's like, we're Michelin Tire. We don't have to advertise if we don't want to. People will buy us because we have the best tires. Um, Michelin is the only tire company that doesn't give their tires away to professional race cars. Like, uh, I'm not a NASCAR fan, but if you ever watch NASCAR... All of them use Goodyear tires, and the only reason they use those terrible Goodyear tires is because they are free. They're given to them by Goodyear. So, anyway. <laughs> I've heard this, uh, not speeding offense. Oh, well, I ignore him. I've heard this discussion before. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, I can't help it. Our customers, uh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh God. What'd you oh, do? I'm not going to be able to make this delivery on time. <laughs> it is time to speed the hell up. I don't even know how that happened. I thought I measured this. Maybe oh. it was because of the airport you drove through earlier. No, I think I slept through the job. This will be the first <laughs> time... This will be the first time I've ever missed a deadline, and it's going to hurt my rating, but I don't actually care about that. What I do care about is the money. So, hmm. hmm we're we're going to see what happens when I fail a delivery. I have two hours to get there. No, I'm sorry. I have... Let's see here. I have one hour and 37 minutes to get there, and I am one hour and 59 minutes away. Ha <laughs> ha! I think you'll make it. I mean, have you ever gone the speed limit in this game? No, no, I haven't. So, I mean, aren't those estimates based on, so, you know, traffic laws and so on? You'll be fine. Let's see, I'm doing currently 20 kilometers over the speed limit. Which is actually more dangerous for a different reason, because the curves on these roads are, like, sharp, man. Where are you right now, in-game? Uh, in-game? I think I am in Germany. I, I'm, alas, if I had time, I would uh, probably stop and find out, but I have no time now. No, no time. No time. It'll, it'll all be alright. Just repeat to yourself. Every this is a video game. <laughs> this is a video game. This is a video game. Oh god, this isn't a video game. I am also, I was Tyler Durden the whole time. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. Oh god, oh god, okay. Manage speed, manage speed. Do not go fast around the corners. <laughs> so, 
So? So to prepare for this uh, video, mm -hmm. I watched your first two. Yeah. And I took notes. Oh. Because I didn't want to say anything that had already been said. Um, but all I ended up writing down on my notepad was you mispronounced the word chassis. Isn't it chassis? It's chassis. Oh, I know that you mispronounced the word chassis because I wrote it down on my notebook about 11 times and underlined it and bolded it, and it looks like the scribblings of a madman. <laughs> uh, how do you pronounce usurp? I pronounce it usurp. It's actually usurp. Mm. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because I pronounced it usurp in front of my mom. Because I've been reading, and that's how I read it. That's how it's... Aw, oh, shit, I, I lost him. <laughs> it's still trying to call him up. You there? Uh, yeah, I lost you. Yeah, that was fun. <clears throat> Good old Skype. My, my point is, though, things... When you read things for the longest time, you don't know how to pronounce them. Nobody tells you how to pronounce it when you're reading chassis from a book. You know, I'll, I'll give you that. Um, for almost a year, when I was in school, um, I thought that Sonic the Hedgehog was trying to collect the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> I really did. And and I never said it out loud, so nobody ever corrected me, and I just thought, what a weird word. And then I said it out loud one day, and it didn't go over so well. But, you know, that's how we learn. Yeah. Well, you know what? I may make this schedule after all. If I weren't uh, behind a slowpoke. Oh, you'll make it. Um, is there any, like, now I've never played this game, obviously. Um, yeah. How customizable is your truck? Can you, like, deck it out Road Warrior style with a cow catcher and spikes? With the right mods? Yes. <laughs> you should invest in that. The, uh, the strange thing about this game is it does have a large mod community. To the point where the people who made the game, they, they left a little OPI, a, API, sorry, not OPI, for, uh, for modders. But the thing that the modders decided on adding is more realistic trucks, not less realistic. To me, this is madness. But I want to drive Optimus Prime. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. I don't just want a game that'll let me drive the model that is Optimus Prime. I want to be able to transform and move out. <laughs> uh, as long as you don't want to ride a giant CGI dinosaur, like in the commercials. Ah, uh, can I go on a rant here? Yes. I'm, I'm just going to go right out and say, okay, Transformers. I can accept the concept of Transformers. Robots, okay, in disguise, I gotcha. All right. Cars that are actually robots. It makes sense if you're a giant metal thing and you already have wheels and you already have windows built onto you for some reason that you don't need them to see through. Turn yourself into a car. I get that. Or a truck. Or a plane. Why are there Dinobots? Why are there Dinobots in modern day planet Earth, circa 2014? Who is going to look at a giant mechanical Tyrannosaurus Rex that is breathing propane fire and say, <laughs> hmm, I wonder if that's a robot in disguise? Well, it's the already a giant robot. The thing is that they come from the future, and as we know from Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, there are giant robots that can shoot lasers out of their eyes. What? No, no, Transformers don't come from the future. Oh, they will. In the future. No. No, they're modern day. They've been around for thousands and thousands of years. Of course, I'm going off the cartoon canon. I very intentionally have not seen the movies. So. Oh, Couldn't man. I made it. Oh, shit, no, I didn't. I was late. The late penalty is 34 bucks. 34 quid. That's it? Fuck, I'm just going to be late from now on. 34... 
That's basically a Denny's meal. Like, <laughs> well, I'm in... sorry, I, I can't get you your Grand Slam today. You were ten minutes late. <laughs> Fine. Like, no! All right, I'll just... Just pay me the other $32,000 and I'll be fine. <laughs> you know, I went to Denny's for dinner last night, my wife and I. Yeah? Solid 6 out of 10. Really? I was really, I was really impressed. Uh, we went there and there's... Every restaurant in this town has to have, like, its grade on the front. Denny's is an A-plus restaurant in this town. Huh. Now, we're both from Oklahoma where Denny's was a C at best. And it's just really weird. It's really weird. But yeah, solid 6 out of 10. I I would go back. It's like the uh, the Taco Bells in uh, Demolition Man. Right. I hate Taco Bell so much. I really do. Um, once again, from Oklahoma... So close to Mexico, real Mexican food made by real Mexicans. It's yeah, just, there's no comparison. Yeah, I, I there's there's a couple. I like Taco Bell as much as I do. Ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. Customizable beacon for the oh. top that I can write my own messages on. <laughs> I think I think this is probably a good place to call this video. <laughs> I, I right. was I was late, but I made my delivery, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. So, <laughs> Chuck, thank you for coming along for Casual Truck. Well, you're more than welcome. And uh, Dinobots are horrible. Dinobots are horrible, and we should treat them with the same respect that we treat them with as other humans because they are not they they are machines. Yes, I dream of a future where Dinobots have to drink from separate water fountains. <laughs> Segregated Dinobot bathrooms. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye, everyone.